Well, a statue that sits across from Philadelphia City Hall is drawing some new scrutiny. Some critics are calling for the removal of the monument that honors former Philadelphia Mayor and Police Commissioner Frank Rizzo. Eyewitness News reporter Henry Rossoff is live at the statue outside of the Municipal Services Building in Center City with more on the renewed effort to have it removed. Henry. Jim, the statue was dedicated in 1998, and calls to remove it have dated back at least a year, as far as we can tell. Uh, the accusation by people who want the statue taken down is that former mayor and police commissioner Frank Rizzo had a tense, at times brutal, relationship with the African American community. But things have been taken to a new height when council uh, woman Helen Ginn, tw uh, Jim, excuse me, tweeted last night: "All around the city, we're fighting to remove monuments to slavery and racism. Philly, we have work to do." Take the Rizzo statue down. It's already been retweeted more than 400 times and liked about a thousand times. The tweet at this moment in time specifically comes in the wake of what happened in Charlottesville, Virginia. The recent white power and hate group protests and counter protests there have been centered around the city's decision to remove a statue of Confederate General Robert E. Lee. We got Rizzo's son, a former Philly councilman himself, on the phone from Florida. We asked him what he thought about the call to remove the statue of his dad and any comparison to the Confederate general. And I never remember my dad uh, being anything but a fair person. If you broke the law, no matter what color you were, uh, he made sure that Philadelphia was protected. And uh, I would hope that uh, the, the decision makers realize that Frank Rizzo uh, is not in the same, um, uh, shouldn't be in the same conver conversation as a Confederate general. In about an hour from now, we're set to talk with Council Member Gim, and we'll have her comments as part of our later reports. Live near City Hall, Henry Rossoff, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.